I was about to film and then all the fireworks started so we will wait for that to stop. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to your Bible with Bex. It has been a while, it's been a couple of weeks, um, but I've been really looking forward to making a Bible with Bex video. I really enjoy making these because as much as I get to share the Word of God with you, I'm also learning so much and Bible studying while preparing for these, um, and it's just been so enriching for my faith journey and my life, and I'm really hoping that it encourages you in your journey too. So, today, um, the particular verse that I'm going to do came about in light of World Kindness Day, which is today, the day I'm filming is Friday, um, and Friday was World Kindness Day, or it is for me, but it will be past tense for you. Um, and I made like a little Instagram post and I posted some different verses. I was looking into kind of like what does the Bible say about kindness and kind of like um, caring for other people. And this verse in Romans came up and I read through Romans 12 and there was so much in Romans 12 that we could go into, but I kind of just wanted to dive into this verse and I started looking at this verse in different translations and then looking up definitions and meanings of particular words in this verse and it just like opened my mind to so much that this verse is saying more than just what meets the eye. So we're going to actually be reading this in three different translations because it brings out three different qualities and things um, in it which I'm just loving and this is something that I've only started doing in the last couple of years um, through studying online in Bible college a little bit. Um, it really encouraged me to look at things in different translations and it can really bring to life what this verse means by looking at it in different translations and not just in the one that you traditionally read at home. Um, so we're going to be reading it from NIV, NLT, and then um, it's ESV, but it's also the same in RSV. So that's the all the different translations that we're going to be looking at, particularly today. So I'm going to read each one, and then I'll pop it on the screen. Hopefully, it'll be here on my nice blank space for you. Um, so yeah, let's read this verse and then dive right in. It's Romans chapter twelve, verse ten. So in the NIV, it says this: "Be devoted to one another." honor one another above yourselves. And in NLT it says, love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. And then in RSV slash ESV it says, love one another with brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Okay, I love, love, love this verse. Um, it's such a great challenge because it's telling us um, off the face of just hearing it that we need to really love one another and we need to honour other people above ourselves. And as humans, that can be really hard to do. Um, we're all very self-centred in nature. I find it quite hard to... Um, to say like I definitely honour people above me because I definitely don't do that well enough ever in my life and it's something I need to work on and just the way that this talks about how to love and how to honour is so great and so we're going to dive in and kind of pull apart everything. So I want to kind of go translation by translation and so the first one we popped on the screen was NIV and so let's just kind of dive right in. So in NIV it says um, in the first part, be devoted to one another in love. Now we know to love somebody means you truly care about that person, you care about their feelings, you care about um, their needs and the things that they're going through. It means that you have a genuine um, emotion towards that person and you genuinely care about what's happening with them. You, um, you want to love on them, you want to give them kindness, you want to care for them. And it says here that we need to be devoted to one another in love. And when we look up the word devoted, um, it means extremely loving or loyal. So we need to love other people like in a big way, not just like, oh, um, I love you, so I'll just help you when you're really desperate, but like extremely love people. So like give them things even when they haven't said they're in big need and like care for people all the time and show interest in that person's life all the time. Because Jesus extremely loves us and God extremely loves us. And it also said to be really loyal and being true and being honest and um, having a genuine all the time care. Loyalty is something that is all the time over a long period of time. It's not, I ha will help you and be extremely loving towards you today, but then tomorrow I'm not. It's being consistent. So in NIV, it's telling us, be devoted to one another in love. And in the second part, it says, 
honor one another above yourselves. And so I looked up the word honor and it says respect to show special interest. Um, honoring someone above myself, it's giving someone else respect. Like I'm really respecting them. I put them before me, their needs before mine. I'm thinking of this person. I don't think of myself highly. I think of you higher than I think of me. And um, Jesus does this so well, shows us this humility of, of others before himself. And that's how we need to be. And I really like where it says about showing a special interest. It's making people feel special, making people feel loved, noticed, seen. That's amazing. That's an amazing call that we have upon us. And that's such an amazing thing. And I realise when I have had people do this to me, they've loved me extremely well and they've shown that special interest in me in that Christian um, loving way. It's, um, it doesn't have to be special interest in like a romantic sense or anything. It's just making someone feel seen, known, heard, just special, like you care about that person. Oh, I just love it. And it's such an amazing challenge that... Um, to do this and I love this verse when you think about World Kindness Day, being kind to someone. How kind, like what is the best form of kindness? It's living and treating that person like Christ would because it's the kindest thing you could do. It's the most loving thing that you could do. And so then I was like, let me look this up in other translations because I wonder what kind of differences that they bring out and how much more um, can we just pour out of this verse. And so then I look to NLT and NLT says, love each other with genuine affection. And then there was a note there that said of brotherly love, which comes into a lot of RSV, ESV and also says that in King James Version, but we're not particularly looking at that right now. But it says, love each other with genuine affection. And then I was thinking, like I said earlier, I think about genuinely loving someone and genuine means to be real you know, is it real? Um, be sincere, mean it, be honest, love them in an honest way. So we're loving each other with a genuine affection. We are meaning it. I'm being real. So I need to love you extremely and loyal, which means all the time, be consistent, but it needs to be honest and real. Like I can't love you in a fake way. Jesus didn't love us in a fake way. It was a real way. So this just then expands on it being actually, okay, love you other extremely but do it in a real genuine way be real with your love and then it says take delight in honoring each other and I really like that um delighting in something is you know in doing it it, it makes you happy it puts a smile on your face you delight in doing it I just think it puts a spin on it because sometimes we think okay I have to honor this person before me and we can make it um seem like such a hard and harsh task or something on us, like, you know, lifting others above yourselves, but we should delight in it. It should be something that it makes us happy to see um, others above ourselves and to care for them and love them and be genuine and be honest. And so um, I really like what came out there in NLT. But then in RSV, it's probably got my favorite line coming up. So the first one says, love one another with brotherly affection, which is very similar to what we were saying. And that brotherly affection is that kindness, that family love. Um, you know, in the Christian community, we want to love on people. It's not in a romantic sense. It's um, in a caring, in a deep way for people. It's that genuine, true, um, I want to help you. I want to be there for you. Um, I'm going to put you first. But my favourite line ever is this, outdo one another in showing honour. Ah, I was like mind blown when I read that because I was like, what an amazing thing to say, outdo one another in showing honour. Can you imagine if we all try to outdo each other in showing each other honour? Like the world would be so much of a better place. It would be so kind. It would be crazy because we're being called here to honor other people, so respect them, show interest in them, make them feel loved, make them feel special, treat them in a kind way. And if we were all trying to outdo each other in being respectful, being kind, making people feel special, like, ah, oh, mind blown, it would be amazing. And God knows that. You know, when we get to heaven, it's gonna be insane to experience this, this intense brotherly love, this extreme love, this honor, this respect, this feeling special. Like, we are gonna be outdone, but here on earth, we can make things better. We can treat people with that kindness, with that outdoing each other in honor and make people feel loved and special and known and seen. 
And the truth is, when you treat people like that, they want to know more. They want to know why you treat them that way and why they suddenly feel so special when the world has made them feel the complete opposite. And that's when you get the opportunity to share Christ. Because I feel known, I feel special, I feel loved, I feel all of these things from God. And then I get to share them with other people and then share with them that they can also experience that from not just me, but from someone so much greater who can do it so much better than me. I love this. So in light of World Kindness Day, let's take everything that we've learned from these translations. Let's be devoted in genuine affection and brotherly love towards one another, extreme big love and loyalty. Let's honour each other, respect each other, make people feel special, take delight in it and outdo each other. I challenge us to outdo each other in being honouring and kind and loving. I hope that we spend this next week really trying to live in a kind way and just outdoing each other in absolute kindness. I pray that this video blesses you. I'm so thankful to be back. Please do give this a like and subscribe. Um, and you can follow me over on Instagram too for more tidbits during the week. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. God bless. Bye.